always start the video on Ronin's face. Speaking of Ronin, that's legitimately what this video is all about. I did not plan that, but I have a rule. Like, if you can put the camera in Ronan's face, always start the video there. It's just the freaking cutest thing. Mm. Anyway, all right, so a crazy thing is happening. I'm just gonna try to ramble and explain everything before it all happens. So, there's a company called Rurock that has been making snowboarding helmets and stuff for a few years. They announced a couple years ago they were gonna make a motorcycle helmet, and I've been waiting to get one. And two years later, they're finally coming out. And so they said to me that they're gonna fly to the US and visit some people. I was like, okay, whatever. And they said, we're gonna visit you first. I'm like, okay, we're gonna be there tomorrow. Oh, okay. And so I met them, uh, actually it was like two days ago, and they surprised me with one of their special helmets. This one's called the Ronin. I didn't realize I could take it off with one hand. Look at this helmet. I think this is probably my favorite looking helmet that comes straight from the factory. This one's called the Ronin because it has this special graphic on it. Look at the detail of this graphic. It's really crazy. We decided it'd be fun to hang out for a day and try to take pictures or make a little cinematic video with this helmet and this bike. So we're gonna try that today, um, even though it's supposed to rain, so we'll see if that works out. Rurock's motorcycle helmets is their Atlas line. So this is an Atlas, a Rurock Atlas Ronin. So Ronin's a special edition. The thing that's special about this is there's only 500 of these and they all sold out, but they gave me the first one. So I made me feel really special. But now I have like the first special edition Ronin helmet. So I would be really interested in and I'm planning to get just a solid matte black one because there are, there, there are different colors. The guys I met, uh, the head of PR media, uh, Ben and Zach are really awesome and I'm looking forward to hanging out with them today and doing something fun. Whose gear is this? Who's riding today? Uh, well, Ben, was this yesterday? We were doing a photo shoot, so Ben is modeling. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Just doing some modeling as I did. So I don't think we're gonna have as much sun today as we thought a couple days ago, but at least it's cooler today. Yesterday was crazy. Um, it was like super sunny and then all of a sudden it was just Fun and then yeah, and then it rained really hard. I was like, well, it's a good thing we didn't meet up today, or yeah. Friday, because that was just that was too rainy. But I did get sunburnt yesterday. There wasn't enough sunburnt <laughs> sunburn, so. But I do burn yeah. easily coming from the UK. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what you guys call it? Sun cream? Sun cream. This is another one of those weird things. Like we just call it a uh, sunscreen. Oh. Screen. Yeah. I think sun cream makes sense. You know, I know exactly what you're talking about. You know. Where's your toy? toy, toy. Ronan, where's your toy? Look at that! You got your squirrel. <laughs> You got your squirrel! The mannequin's like really small compared to me, so he and he has this sassy pose. Yeah, like like you and all about poses, so. But that way it gets to look pretty well it sits somewhere, because otherwise it would just be in a box. And now your helmet is made in addition to my filled collection. Nice. So this is a copy I made, and this one is for actually riding with. So, you know, GoPro mount on the front there and that uh, GoPro dongle runs and it's tucked inside this, this chin piece I'm holding on to. Yeah. The battery pack that I put in my helmets just sticks on there to run the camera for you know several hours. Yeah. And on this side, this piece um, is there. On this one, it's the Cena instead of it. And they look you know, pretty identical to each other. So that one is just a copy. Because I, I don't want to, that's a pretty one that I wanted to keep for the suit. So I'm gonna try to dig out the first one I made, which is technically a copy of the first one, because the first one I, I sold a long time ago, but there's the old Mark I, or a copy of it. You can hold it if you want. It's pretty kind of heavy. But that was kind of the original idea, was a couple speakers that look like a breathing apparatus, and then four big Lego spikes. And it's got other stuff on the back, but obviously it's a lot bigger and bulkier and kind yeah. of, yeah. So over time it's kind of gotten more streamlined, but it's just toys stuck on a helmet, basically. Literally Lego. <laughs> <laughs> so people would always go, what, what's that helmet? Like, it's yeah. toys. It looks awesome, it's like Darth Vader. Thanks, it's just toys. How'd you make it? It's just toys. Just toys. But people are still kind of enamored with it, so. And these are speakers, right? Yeah. At one point, they're actually Bluetooth. So you could play, you know, but, and the, re the reason I did the speakers was because the original idea was to be able to have like a vocoder in the helmet like Darth Vader or something. Uh, cool. So then you could project the voice forward. Yeah. The problem is that mic 
and the speakers were so close to each other. Aside from the fact that I couldn't find a vocoding system that small, yeah. the feedback was unavoidable. So it was too bad. It looks cool, but like that was the idea. That's why I did that. Right. Well, still one. Thanks. Throughout the day, it gets up to 50% chance of rain. Really? So, eh, you know, it's pretty cloudy. I think I think we got to risk it to get the biscuit. That's that's my philosophy. Not my philosophy. It's the one I adopted. <laughs> You're probably more into biscuits stereotypically than, than I am because you're from the UK. Yeah, a cup of tea and biscuits. Tea and biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's gotta be a pun for scones. Oh. Um, scone, bone, thrown, uh, grown. There's something in there. I'll think on it. That's a deep question that needs to be answered. <laughs> or you, know, you can solve it for us. Yeah. Need to do some stuff in the center of town, like riding through. Oh yeah, so there's a, there's a couple, uh, what would you call those public town places like we walk through yeah, yeah, places yeah. like that if you wanted to if you wanted to get like uh, people walking in the background or, yeah. or more dynamic shots with more things in motion those are places we could totally go through okay. that's actually a good idea <laughs> instead of just tracking the bike at speed that would be a much more fun thing so we'll probably go there first and then the roads but yeah. as long as it doesn't rain we'll have time we just gotta go just and because I know it's important to you we are going to schedule Chipotle Okay, not because not it's important to me, and it is, but because you specifically mentioned Chipotle, I was like, I'm all about that life. I know where the Chipotle is, and we're going to go there for yeah, lunch. Yeah, friends already mentioned this today, so you're both on the same way tonight. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready. That's what we do the first thing we do when we get to America. Get the Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're picking stuff up. We're going to try to record a sequence of like suiting up and getting the bike out of here. So I'm not going to come back probably until lunchtime after we record stuff, because once I get the gear on, we're working but I'll give you a little update later on, probably at lunch. <laughs> that's, our, <laughs> that's our thing now, or it's his thing that I'm adopting. So uh, we recorded some of the first shots that'll be like showing, gearing up and getting on the bike. After this, we're gonna take off and go to a populated area, try to record some more slow stuff, but it's gonna get more technical because I get to get on the bike now. So I don't know when the next update's gonna be, but we're gonna be out for several more hours. If it doesn't rain, which we hope it does. So I'll give you an update later. Poor baby Ronan. He is so happy to see everybody because we were gone for so long today. So look at, look at what's going on here. Getting a, a double data dump. We're getting all the cards in my computer and his computer. So like there's some awesome pictures coming through right now. And then we're, we, we we just like barely got done before it, the rain got bad enough to where it was like we needed to get out of the rain. Yeah, we got some good shots. <laughs> it's challenging at times, but um, yeah, we got some good stuff. Yeah, it was challenging at times. Is this boy. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna finish the double data dump and then we're basically done. So we're gonna go eat after this. So I didn't realize this place is super fancy. So I'm not gonna record here. I'll record after we get out. I don't wanna get kicked out. I wanna eat whatever this is. I lied, because people are clearing out and I wanna record here because it was really good. So we are reminiscing on our day and we, we only got to hang out for like a day, but it's been a really good day. We're literally gonna drive in, in split ways. So guys, it was really nice to meet you, Ben. I'm really looking forward to seeing you again. Zach, really good to hang okay. out with you today. Good job on the video. Enjoy the rest stuff. of your evening and have today. fun while you're out here. Thank you very have much. Okay, the waitress so rudely was wishing us a good night and interrupting what we said. No, she was really nice. I wish I could have put the camera on her, but I don't just put the camera on random people, but she was really nice. This is goodbye. One more of these, because I know you're really good at initiating that. All right. Dude, I had fun today. I was just thinking about it. It was, it was a full day. And but we got everything that we wanted to do. My first time doing anything with them, and we like we set a time at ten, started at ten, got in and out of each location on time, got done right as it was raining. Everything was done perfectly. There's only one thing I wanted to do. I wanted to try. To, I want to try to put the Ronin helmet on Ronin. So wish me luck. I gotta try really hard. You ready to put your snoot inside of this helmet? Good oh boy. Oh my gosh. You look. You look weird. Put the helmet on, Ronan. It's so simple. Put it on. It's so simple. Oh, good boy. Is your head too? He likes it. Good boy. He was like wagging his tail when I said that. Can you not fit? <laughs> I'm just licking the inside. Is it tasty? Is it tasty? I tried. I tried. Just, just imagine. Because <laughs> your head's too big. 
anyway, this is a very special, very special helmet. I, I feel really, I feel really special that, you know, they came out and gave that helmet to me. So, guys, I want to say I had a good day today, and I really had a good time with Zach and Ben, and I really appreciate them, and I'm hoping I get to meet the rest of the Ruroc team. I feel like I made a really cool friendship. So, I'm not getting paid to say any of this, um, but I want to let you know, if you like this helmet or any of the Ruroc helmets, go check out their website. They have several other Atlas models with different kinds of decals. Um, check them out if you like them. Um, they've been really good to me. So yeah, I hope I get to do more stuff with them later. Um, but that was um, me trying to show you stuff that happened today. I realized I didn't get my camera out very much because like I was out on the bike uh, recording stuff the whole time. So there will be a video. Uh, the cinematic video will come out later. And I'll put pictures and stuff on Instagram. But that, that's that. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all later. Bye.